2015 is set to be a bumpy year for new cars. And in this Auto Express guide, we have a roundup of all the most exciting models coming over the next 12 months. The most lavish of which is the new Mercedes Maybach S600. It's 200mm longer than the current long wheelbase S Class and is even more luxurious too. There's more headroom thanks to the raised roofline and there's even more lashings of leather throughout the sumptuous cabin. The car is due to go on sale in spring. The range topping S600 will cost around £130,000 and will get a 530 horsepower 6 litre V12, though lesser S500 and S400 versions will be offered too. The new Jaguar XE will appear on our roads in May, priced from just under £27,000, and give the British firm a long-awaited rival to the BMW 3 Series. From launch, the XE will be offered with a pair of 2-litre petrol engines and 2-litre diesel engines, the most economical of which can return around 75 miles per gallon and emit less than 100 grams per kilometre of carbon dioxide. There will also be a range topping 3-litre supercharged V6 that can do 0-62 to miles an hour in less than 5 seconds. The new BMW 2 Series convertible will arrive in the UK in time for the summer, priced from £29,000 for the 220i. All cars will get Bluetooth, DAB digital radio, sports seats, automatic air conditioning and a multifunction steering wheel as standard. The 2 Series convertible will get the same range of engines as the Coupe, which means this time round there will be an M235i version capable of 0-62 miles an hour in just 5.2 seconds. The new Honda Civic Type R is perhaps the most hyped car of 2015. We've already been teased with two prototypes and the road car is likely to keep most of their outrageous styling, including the huge rear wing. The road car will be unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show in March and go on sale shortly after, priced from around £30,000. Honda will also launch a new HRV in 2015, almost a decade since the old one ceased production. Priced from around £16,000, the small crossover will be based on the Jazz and get petrol, diesel and hybrid power. It's been 10 years since Volvo released the first XC90 and now this second generation model is bigger, better, safer and a lot more economical than before. As well as a bold new look plus a luxurious and spacious cabin, the premium SUV brings an extensive lineup of efficient four-cylinder diesel and petrol engines while a hybrid model with 390 horsepower will top the range. Prices will start at around £40,000 for the entry-level front-wheel drive D4 model which will join the range from September. Meanwhile, early next year, the new Mazda 2 will arrive, with prices starting from around £11,000. The Japanese Super Mini gets Mazda's now familiar Kodo design language, as well as a brand new 1.5-litre Skyactiv diesel engine promising emissions of under 90 grams per kilometre of carbon dioxide. A 1.5-litre petrol engine will also be available, with varying power outputs and a choice of manual and automatic transmissions. A little later in the year, Mazda's all-new CX-3 crossover will follow after the 2. It's a smaller brother to the CX-5 and will take on the Nissan Duke. It will also get the new 1.5-litre diesel from the Mazda 2 and a 2-litre petrol used in the 3, while buyers will also be able to choose an all-wheel drive version if they need the extra grip. Featuring a sportier and more upmarket design, the new Ford S-Max 7-seat MPV will build on the success of the old model, but add power folding seats in the second and third rows, a hands-free tailgate and the option of all-wheel drive. The new S-Max will start from around £24,000 and share its diesel and EcoBoost petrol engines with the Mondeo, the most popular of which will be the 148 brake horsepower 2-litre diesel. The Toyota FCV will go on sale early next year in Japan and America but won't arrive in Europe until later in 2015. What's more, only 100 of the hydrogen fuel cell vehicles will be available at first. And should you manage to get on the waiting list, you'll have to stump up more than £60,000 for one. And don't expect an electric car style subsidy because despite having zero emissions, because the FCV isn't a plug-in vehicle, it doesn't get the grant. This is the new Mercedes GLE and it's effectively replacing the current NL. The GLE family will spawn both a conventional SUV and a BMW X6 rivaling coupe version. Sensible diesels will comprise the majority of the UK sales with the GLE 220 and GLE 350 Bluetech being the best sellers. While topping the range will be a bonkers 5.5 litre twin turbo V8 petrol GLE 63 AMG.